We are recording. So guys, appreciate y'all being on here. As you can tell, I am a little bit different place today. I'm not in my normal studio. And uh, I am here with Ms. Rachel Adams Lee. I actually do originally as Rachel Adams. And a lot of, a lot of people, if you've been on Facebook, social media, or uh, even been in a class with me, I may talk about her every once in a while on some great things she's done. And I uh, coached her, I had the luxury of coaching her uh, for 15, I mean, five years. So, <laughs> and, uh, and got to do her business. So today we're gonna have, a, a, like we do on Every Mindset Monday, we're gonna have a little bit of a kind of a chat on what she does. Last week, Rachel, we had Haro. Oh, who's, nice. uh, yeah, I know, right? And so, uh, as I told you today when we were texting, was some things I think you do real well. You do a lot of well, but one of the things I think they would learn from is how you use video in social media. Because I remember when I was coaching you, I'd say, we need to get more leads in the business. And you'd go create a video, and boom, leads would come in. Yeah. All right? Yeah, it's still, still how I lead, Jen. So, um, talk, I, I, you know, even if you just take over the conversation, I'll even hit mute for a minute and then maybe ask a question here and there. Um, as a lot of y'all, a lot of people already know, I'm driving from Texas to back to Tucson. I chose not to fly this route. So, um, so just kind of tell them how you do it. I think they would really learn everything from Instagram to Facebook and, uh, even maybe even show them your little studio, how, how easy it is to create what yeah. you've gotten right behind you. So I'm yeah. going to go and hand it over to you. T talk to them like how you do it, Rachel. Okay. Well, first off, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, David and, uh, Tracy are two of our really good friends. He's coached me the whole time. Mike, I went from, I've taken bold eight times. My ninth time I just signed up for doing the bold pivot with everybody, which I'm stoked about. And, um, yeah, he was been my coach. I, so I went from taking bold twice a year, every year. And then, um, my second year in real estate, I got um, set up with David as a mastery coach. And so, um, I stuck with him. We're you're technically supposed to switch every year and we just kind of kept it quiet <laughs> so we could keep coaching. Um, so a little bit about my background. Um, I've been in real estate eight years now. Um, I started my business very old school, door knocking 200 doors a week, doing three open houses a week. Um, I was paycheck behind a paycheck, uh, for sure in the very beginning. Um, and then you know, it, it, consistency really is, I mean, it's when you ask any mega agent what their secret is, it's not going to be anything super exciting for you. It's going to be consistency and it's going to be following their schedule. Um, and that honestly is what, what makes the difference. And I think, especially in this season, you know, not everyone's going to make it out of this. Not every real estate agent who went into this quarantine is going to make it out, but the people who will make it out are the real estate professionals. And that's what all of you are, right? Because you, I think when the quarantine first hit, I was like the first two weeks, I don't know if anybody else was like this. I was like, Ooh, cocktails every night. Like I was just like, well, I'm not going to shower today. Like I just, I thought I was on vacation. And then when they announced that it was going to be like another month, I was like, okay, probably should take this seriously. And so, um, you know, we, we actually sat down with our real estate team and we went through every single part of the real estate transaction from like the buyer broker to a final walkthrough to a home inspection, like all parts. And we said, how can we support our agents and do this virtually? And, you know, that kind of was, to me, it was, it was just like it was in the very beginning of my career because I can door knock a door, right? And, and right now we're not supposed to do that, at least in California. I don't know if you guys are allowed to door knock, but is it, are you guys considered essential right now? We are, uh, we are essential for the record. Um, oh. Yeah, and we can't do open houses. Okay, same, yeah. So, so door knocking, door knocking is not specifically said no to, um, and we haven't set the rule, although we don't do it because it's just violate. So door knocking for the most part is, is out, yeah. yeah. So similar to me, so I mean, I started my business door knocking and just for like, so you guys can have frame of reference, like that first year in real estate, door knocking 200 doors a week, three open houses every week. I didn't close my first deal for four months. So think about like the kind of grit and mindset you have to have behind rejection and just keep going. And yet I found that if you're unhappy enough with where you're at, you're willing to do the things you need to do to get to the next stage in life. And, um, so, and I was, I was willing. And so Four year, or my fourth month is when I started to close deals, but I was able to sell 39 homes that whole first year and then 109, then 123. And that's when I hit Wall Street's top 1,000 in the country. 
we're now eight years in the business. We're the last five years we've hit top 1000. Um, I'm still in production. So I'm the lead listing agent on the team. And even though David's trying to get me out of production for like, I don't even know how many years, <laughs> I just really like it still. Um, I'm also um, a coach, so I'm a real estate coach and I'm a speaker. So normally I'm traveling like 60% of the year. And then we had just had baby Henry. So I have a eight month old little baby boy and it's the most fun thing I've done ever. And also really hard and I'm tired. Uh, <laughs> and I, he's, he's a full-time quarantine buddy. Let me tell you, like you may hear him scream. That's part of the deal with me. Um, but one of the things that's happening right now, which kind of, it happened early on in my career, is when I was doing these open houses, I would always post, come see my open house, come see my open house. And I wasn't saying come see my listing because that would have been out of integrity. But reality is what people's perception is that's what their reality is. And so they were thinking, who is this blonde girl? How does she have so much business? And so they started to think I was really good at it. And then I had to learn how to do a listing presentation because I never sold a house. Um, but social media for me, that was like one of the biggest things. So my husband and I, we have built four different businesses all through social media or six figure businesses all through social media. And so, I mean, I teach an entire like two day, eight day, eight hours each day class on social media. And um, I can give you guys just some like basics, but I can also share with you what we're doing right you now. Can't get, you can't get all eight hours in those, in this 25 minutes we have left? I know you can do it. I got like put me on like super speed. And <laughs> then, like, give, give, it, give us the best, give us the best, <laughs> Okay. okay. So the main thing right now I want you to think about is people in your community who know your real estate, they're watching. They're watching to see what you're doing and they're not watching for you. They're watching for you to let them know it's going to be okay. Cause they need reassurance right now. That's what everybody needs. So for example, um, with, okay. So I'm going to give you a couple tangible posts that you can do in this season that's going to be helpful. I'm going to give you a really, really great um, value piece you can give when you're circle prospecting, whether it's cold prospecting or your database. Um, and that should kind of take us through the time and then I'll have to hang out with you guys, unfortunately. I can't hear you, DJ. You're Zoom. I mean, you're muted. Yeah, I did. Thank you. So everybody, um, in, in case you no, don't, don't stop her as she's talking, you'll be able to go back and rewatch this. So just let her go so we get a lot in this in this minute. So go ahead and go so they can watch the recording later. <laughs> okay, so um, first things first, if you are using social media in this season, which really everyone should be, and if you if, if you haven't been, this is a great way to start, I want you to write down one through five. So you're going to write down one through five. And the reason for this is we're going to help you figure out what you are passionate about because we're going to give you a business model around social media. So I want you to think of an 80-20 principle. So 80-20, and what that means is people usually have it flip-flopped. 80% of what you're going to post about on social media as a realtor, it's personal. It's who you are. It's what you're doing. It's where you're going. It's what you're reading. It's what you're eating. 20% um, of what you post about, that's going to be real estate. So let's figure out what your passions are. Let's figure out your business model. So say I tell people that if you're going to use social media as a platform, I want you posting at least five to seven times a week. That means almost every day. Now you could say, you know what, I'm unplugging on weekends or maybe you take a Tuesday off. I don't really care what days you do. You're gonna post five to seven days a week. Now, if you say I'm gonna post five and you're like, you know what, I'm just, for this next week, I'm gonna post, I'm gonna post every weekday. Fantastic. What are you gonna post about? Number one of your one through five, you're gonna write real estate. That's your 20%, right? Because we all have our 20%. And then two through five, you get to decide what that is. Maybe you're passionate about um, clean eating and, and working out. Maybe you're passionate about travel. Maybe you're passionate about, um, if you're married and you have kids, hopefully you like them. That is one of your passions, your family, right? Um, you're going to write down the things that make you tick. Now, I will tell you, and I don't want you to let this defeat you in any way, when you post about real estate, it's going to be your lowest producing interaction. It is. And yet that is okay because the people who are connecting with you, they just need to know you're in real estate. They're not always going to like your open house post or like your, you know, whatever your flyer, but they want consistency. They want to know they can count on you. And right now a really great post you can do 
is you can literally take a screenshot of this training and you're going to put it on social media and you're going to say, you know what? A lot of people have been asking me um, how the real estate market is and how I'm doing. And I wanted to be honest with you guys. Is it business as usual? You know what? It's not. Because, you know, with COVID, we're having to pivot. But the one thing that I can tell you is I will make sure that for all my clients, my number one thing I'm doing is making sure that they're safe. We have, you know, gloves and masks and like whatever you choose to say, right? Um, in fact, and, and does it look different for me? It sure does. In fact, today, I was able to sit in the comfort of my home and listen to a top 1,000 agent in the country share social media tips. And I, you know, like, I'm here for you. You know, it, and then what I always tell people to do also is, so people have asked me how the market is. This is all one post. And if you guys, I have a copy of this post on my Facebook. So if you go to my Facebook or my Instagram, you can like just snag my template. And I'm a huge fan, just so you know, of something I call R&D, which is rip off and duplicate. So if I have something and you like it, you're welcome to use it. Just make it your own. You never just want to copy someone's and paste it. You want to make sure you put your, your voice on it because people work with people they like and they like you, but they need to know who you are. So right? Sorry. <laughs> oh, hi, Trace. <laughs> um, so they need to know who you are, right? They need to know what makes you tick. And when you're, when, when you're intentional about how you communicate with people, they know it's you. And so one of the things that I say, right? So first off I say, you know, um, is it business as usual? Nope. These are the things we're doing to protect you. In fact, today alone, my business didn't look the same. I sat in the comfort of my own home and I was able to learn, you know, social media tips. Now let's talk a little bit about the market. So what I want you to know for your market, and you can either do, um, in the last week or the last month, in fact, you know, how is the market? Well, honestly, surprisingly, the market's pretty strong. You know, what people seem to think things are changing, but in reality, you know, we, um, last month alone, we, you know, we sold 86 houses or 600 houses or, or, you know, 600 homes went pending or whatever stat you guys want to pull. And, you know, the reason for that is while, you know, even though we have COVID going on, interest rates are still really low. So that means there's buyers out there and the buyers that are looking are serious buyers. And my gosh, for sellers right now, well, there's not a lot of inventory. So it puts you in a really advantageous position where you can net more money for your house than you even thought was possible. So the one thing I just want you to know is I'm here for you, whether you want to talk about real estate or you just, you know, you want to just chat. Like, I want you to know I'm here. And that's all they're looking for. They want to know you're there and they want to know they can count on you because if you're confident and you feel you're going to be okay, then they're like, okay, the market's still okay. I guess I'm going to be okay too. And like I said, though, not every agent's going to make it out of this, but you, the ones who are sitting here right now, furthering every Monday, doing these mindset Mondays with David, these are, you're going to be the agents that make it because you're committing to your growth. And you know, it's not, it's not always fun, but after that two weeks of way too many cocktails in the beginning, my husband and I sat down and we made a, a schedule and things look a little different for us because we have an eight month old baby. So our life kind of revolves around nap schedules and feedings. And yet I have three blocks throughout the day where I can work and I work on my business and my business is lead gen. And so, you know, one of the things that's really helpful in this season is video and David kind of touched on it. Um, I, if you guys, I obviously don't have time to go into too much, but if you go on my Facebook page, I have a, um, a, a, a live that I did with realtor.com and we talked all about Instagram stories and how stories can build your business. And a lot of people, you know, they, so when you have Facebook or Instagram, you have posts and you have stories. Now posts, I are the things you're going to prep out your five to seven posts, right? And you're going to have, you can put a filter on it and you really think through your wording and you're really intentional and that's great. Now stories are the, where you're going to get more interaction. They really, really are because they are 15 second little snippets into your life. And I will tell you that people who follow me on social media, they, they kind of know what to expect. They know that I'm real. I'm pretty raw. I will not talk about things politically. Like I have, I, I have my five passions and I stick to my five passions. Um, in fact, I had someone weird, my, I get really weird messages, but I had someone write me yesterday and she said, all right, well, I just want you to know that I've been watching your posts for the last four weeks. And I went to one of your trainings and you said that you post about, you know, you go through your five passions and I totally expected to be able to call you out. 
except for you did your five passions and you followed your schedule. And I was like, you have way too much time on your hands. I'm like, yeah, I'm kidding. Kidding. you calling me out. Like I was like, all right, psycho. Uh, yeah, totally. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not with Keller Williams. Let's just say that. Um, and, but like people have way too much time on their hands, but what it shows me is they're watching, they're watching and people are listening. And, and in this space where everything's kind of uncertain, they're looking for certainty from you. Now that doesn't mean every day has to be perfect. It doesn't. And if you're having a rough day, like I had a really rough day. Um, I, I'm, if anyone follows me on social media, you know, that I like passionately love my husband. He's like my favorite person, but there was last Friday. I was like, get away from me. <laughs> like I need space. We've been by each other's side because we live and work together for six weeks. Like there's no breaks. There's no car. Like it's just us. And I just told people, I'm like, man, I am having a rough day. Like I, I feel like I've re worked really hard because we have the four companies and the different teams. It's my job to be positive and to pour into everybody. But today I just need to fill my cup a little bit. And I was like, what are you doing to, t to have some like self care? And it was like 187 comments. And I was like, man, everyone's feeling this. We're all, and, and it's like, you're going to like grief happens in different stages. I feel like, and you know, it's, what I love about social media is it's a place where you can connect with each other and build these deeper relationships, but you also can get support if you need it. Now I didn't go on there and say, Oh my gosh, what a crap day I'm having. My husband's driving me nuts. I need space, right? You always want to speak with the end in mind that you desire. So I was looking for solution based, um, responses. So that's how I put the post out. Um, and if, but then I'm like, I don't believe in the victim mentality anyway. So that just doesn't resonate with me to communicate like that. Um, and, and it's, and the, the thing too, with like the stories is people like to see that you're real because I, they know, I mean, my, my social is pretty polished. Like I know what's going to get interaction. I know how to communicate. I, I certainly know how to build referrals, which we'll jump into next. Um, but my stories, it's like, I most often have not showered. <laughs> like, I'm like, my kids screaming, like, we're I'm like, whatever. It's like a cooking fail. It's like, it's your real life. And that's the stuff where I get more interaction. And I get more referrals through social media from other agents around the country to my Instagram stories and my Facebook stories than I do to my email. Like, how crazy is that? I was going to, I was going to ask, how do they turn into, how do you turn, how does it turn into business? Is it organic? How, how does it, how does it come to you as business? So I'm really big on, um, paying it forward to other agents. I think having a open mindset that adding value to others is good for everyone. Um, so for example, I have a database script that I wrote, um, for COVID and it's a script that I wrote for my team to dial our database. And I'm going to be sharing it on social media and with my entire email list because I want to build their business. Because if I found something that works for me, I want to pay it forward to the industry because so many others have done the same for me. And every time that I share something, I'll always let them know. I hope this added value to you and your business. By the way, if you have anyone buying or selling in Northern California, I'd be honored to service your client. And that's like a direct, like a piece of value, right? Which I'll, I'll end this by giving you guys that script. Um, but what happens on social media is say that um, I'm talking to, who do I want to pick on? I'm talking to you, Miss Tess. And I've never met Tess before. And she comments on a picture of baby Henry, right? She comments on my son. I'm going to look at her before I say like, oh, thanks girl. Like most people are like, thanks, or just like her comment. I want to build connections, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on Tess's Facebook page and I'm going to see if her granddaughter just graduated from kindergarten or if she made a favorite crock pot meal in quarantine. And I'm going to send her a private message. <laughs> She's summing up. Yeah, yeah, I love it. So I'm going to send her a private message and be like, oh my gosh, Tess, that crock, like that chicken crock pot dish that looked amazing. Like, do you have that recipe? I'm looking for some new crock pot recipes for my family. But I do, I would post, I comment on something that like is genuine that I want to engage with her because I want to build relationships with people that's real, not just like surface level. I'm not going to like reach out to Tess and be like, hey Tess, thanks for the like. Do you want to send me business in California? 
And unfortunately, a lot of agents, like that's their approach, which is so yucky. And there's no, re there's a, a big reason why they don't get the business. So I'm going to build a relationship with Tess. Right. And I, I, you, and one of the ways too, cause there's a bunch of like algorithm hacks that I've talked about in my trainings. One of the ways that you can beat the algorithm and um, the algorithm for those of you who aren't super aware of what that means, it's just basically um, your impact and your influence you can have on social media. It's how much interaction you have. It's, it's the people who are seeing your posts. Right. So one of the things is um, if I want to really have good engagement with tests, I'm going to send her a private message. When you direct message someone and they respond to you, you hit the algorithm, which means Tess is now going to be seeing my posts first and she's going to be seeing my stories. Because do you notice you see the same friends and the same stories over and over and over? Well, if we want to build our business, we have to talk to new people, which means you should be making a list each month of your top 25 referral partners. Now, these aren't the people you've worked with. These are your partners you want to work with. So you have to be intentional on who you communicate with because if you're not seeing them, they're not seeing you. Um, and so usually what will happen is I'll, I'll carry on the conversation with Tess for a while. And if she's in real estate, I'll of course be like, how's real estate going through? How are things in the quarantine? And we're now building this connection and she's going to know I'm in Northern California. Um, if it's in, if it's like a local person in my community, obviously she's on real estate. We're just chit chatting. We're talking crock pot, all the things. And then at some point I'll say, you know, so do you have any goals um, for 2020? And they'll say what their goals are. And undoubtedly when you, and I'm like, are you going on vacations? Like, you know, what, like milestones is kind of what I'm looking for. And then undoubtedly when I ask about her, what's Tess going to do? She's going to ask about me. And then I can say, oh my gosh, you know what? Well, this year, so I'm, um, I'm really passionate about serving our community through real estate. And this year, my goal is to help, you know, 150 families sell a home or whatever your number. 10 families, doesn't matter. Like whatever your goal is, better not be 10. But <laughs> um, 10 a month is fine. 10 a year is not. Uh, so, right, I just, it's about building that connection. So it's, it's always, I always lead with the relationship first and the business will follow. And I'm really big with agents on sharing my systems, my scripts, like what works for me. Um, and that's how I built such a big business with real estate agents. Like I, we had 117 or sorry, 123 referrals come through last year through social media. Um, and that's with my Facebook, my YouTube, and my Instagram. Those are my three platforms. Um, I had someone, I did an interview, um, actually, David, I taught an EXP class that I didn't know was EXP. It was so, yeah. it was like, really interesting. Yeah, I had to, like, create an avatar, and it was all weird, and I'm, like, I'm like yeah. my, the Williams family. Um, anyway, so I taught this class to them, and we were talking about um, uh, connections and building connections, and one of the things we talked about in that class was the importance of video text messaging. So right now, you can send your people want to see your face. They want to hear your voice, but your clients would love to see your face. So I would encourage you guys to reach out to them and, and do a video text. Like, hey, David, it's Rachel here. Gosh, you have been on my heart. I've just kind of been thinking about my clients and how everybody's doing in this season. And you're just somebody I wanted to reach out to. Like, how are things? That's it. It doesn't are, have to be complicated. Are you doing any uh, uh, like Zoom or FaceTime calls with people? Not with my clients. I'm doing just, I'm okay. just doing like, yeah, no, not with my clients. I'm doing like video text messages with them and um, text messages. I'm doing it with so like video, video text is what, so video text is what you're talking about. Do you do a quick video to send it to them on text? That's another, okay. Yeah. Cause I, um, I'm, I mean, I, I mean, and I don't mean to sound, uh, not caring at all, but I'm very time blocked right now. And I mean, I worked like 60 hours plus last week. It was, it was a really busy week and I take weekends off. So I don't have the desire to have like 30 minute conversations with every client. I'd rather just like send them a video text and then they text me back and then I'm like, great, have a good day. <laughs> um, but can I give you guys a script really quick that we're using to dial? Cause it's been really helpful and, and we've had such positive response. Can I do that real fast, David? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, 
So I am calling, so my, right now what's happening, whether you're dialing your database or your, your circle prospecting, I call my community, right? So they answer and I say, Hey there, this is Rachel. I'm your local realtor. I, you know, normally I'm calling you to let you know kind of what's happening in the market and sharing with you, you know, some properties that just sold, but that doesn't really feel appropriate right now. So I'm actually just calling to see if there's anything I can do for you, whether personally or professionally, how are you doing? And then I wait. So it's, can I help you with anything personally or professionally? How are you doing? That I'm silent. I let them answer. And then afterwards, um, they'll answer and however the conversation goes. And then what I say is, you know, one of the things we're doing that's been really fun is we're trying to just add some light and positivity and, and sort of mix up your day. So I have these really fun scavenger hunts that I would love to email over to you. Some of them are a rainbow scavenger hunt that you can do inside. Other ones, a nature scavenger hunt so you can go outside. Um, and obviously they're kid friendly, but if you want to snag a glass of wine and go for a walk outside, like take a scavenger hunt with you. It's just something different. And you know, we just, in this season, we just wanted to make sure that you know we're here for you. You guys, people are loving it. They're so grateful to have the connection, the care, the message. Like it's been really, really well received. Well, it's interesting because we're a lot of times, uh, and we, you know, it's interesting. Everybody who's talked, you know, I've had James Shaw, um, had one of our top agents, the office, Haro, and they all say the same thing. That's, it's coming from that care first. That mm -hmm. conversation almost always will go back to how's real estate. <laughs> yeah. It well, always makes a full circle. Yeah, absolutely. It, the first couple weeks it didn't, at least not in my market, everybody was just kind of like scared. So they weren't like, right. how's the market? They were just like, thanks. So you know, like, how, do you have toilet paper? Like, what can we do? But now right. that we've been in this for a bit more and we will be in it for however long, people are like, how's the market? Like, how are you doing? So the, it's, and, and it's very well received. And so um, I, I don't know if the easiest way to get it, but I think who is uh, Trisha? No, you have, who is the gal who was running this today? Is that Teresa? Uh, Caitlin. Okay. okay. Whoever would like to run this, um, if you want to get me emails, I can send you guys, I have an audio script that I, of what I just said, and then I'll send sure. you the, the six scavenger hunts. They're really cute and they're so, they're not branded or anything, so you can just use them. Um, they're from a preschool and I asked her if I could share them and she was like, sure. I'm like, you didn't realize they'd be sure. doing like hundreds of thousands of people, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's really helpful and so I'd be happy to send those your way. Perfect. Well, uh, any last tips or things kind of you said, the most important things, I heard the, uh, the five things, the 80-20 rule. What happens if they talk too much about real estate on social media? You're going to get unfollowed. People are going to think that you're only about what you can get, not about what you can give. And people work with people who they feel they have a connection with. And unfortunately, if you're just out to get something, they feel that. If you're just building your business, like if you're on social media, I'm going to build my business today. Like okay, they feel that, you know what I mean? Um, so I would say you want to go on, so I, when I go on social media, I'm like, how can I add value today to people? Right. Do I, when I do my 20%, am I building my business? Absolutely. But I do it in a way that's not so like in their face, like, hey, I'm here for you, you know? So uh, Emily uh, asked, and Emily, I'll find out, I'll get a list. I saw it on there in the chat. It said, where do I get a list of your social media classes? Oh. You know, yeah, you know so this is kind of if they send an email to it's um it's called i'll put it in the email or the chat if it's called the goods so if you go to the goods at racheladamsgroup.com and you send an email there um you'll get an email back from me like automatically and it has um how to be the algorithm on instagram and it has a bunch of links to my youtube channel and one of them is like social media 101 and so i definitely have another one coming out called social media in a shifting market that should be out in like the next two weeks. But I my YouTube channel is always jamming. When I was pregnant, I recorded like 23 videos. And one of my projects right. from COVID is to get all of those edited and then distributed throughout the rest of the year. So if you go to the YouTube channel and make sure you hit subscribe, every time I knew a do a new coaching video, which is all totally free, um, you guys will get it sent to you. You're welcome. So the good at racheladamsgroup.com is probably the best way to start that. With yeah, you and, and then if you, you guys know, if you need whoever's emails for the audio text, I'll make sure I give that to you guys. And it's my life mission to get her over here physically to Tucson to do a class for. It's my life mission. 
I know. Um, test. I know. I would love to. You know, I will. And your mission: aim bigger. That's your life mission. <laughs> well, you know, it's my. It's one of them. All right, just the one of the many hundred. So. Um, okay. And then All test, right, guys. Have I ever used well, QR guys, codes? No, I have not done QR codes. I don't do tech fancy stuff like that. I'm like, I can record a video, and that's about the extent of my fanciness. Um, well, and then your one thing. Gary talked about the one thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then if you guys um, want any ideas, if you can follow me on Facebook or um, Instagram, and then uh, that's where I'll be. Perfect. That's 30 minutes. That's Mindset Mondays, guys. Thanks right. for being here. I think I need to do a theme song. I think we need like a logo and a theme song for Mindset Monday. So, Probably. All right. Take care, Rachel, guys. As always, thank you so much. I know they loved it because they're commenting a lot. The okay. goods at racheladamsgroup.com. I'll follow up with them and I'll uh, make sure they, they reach out to you, okay? All right, miss you, buddy. See you guys. Bye. Tell Ryan, tell Ryan we say hey. I will.